A California custody agreement is a legal document that specifies the terms of a co-parenting relationship, including each parent's responsibilities and authority to make decisions that will affect a child. California courts presume joint custody or equal sharing of decision-making is in the best interest of a child provided both parents are fit to care for that child. We're eForms and we're here to help you think through and create your own parenting plan, which forms the basis for a custody agreement. Make sure to click the link below for a fillable template that you can get started customizing today. So first things first, what is a parenting plan? This is a legal document that determines how parents will share custody of a child. It covers scheduling and decision-making at a granular level. A parenting plan is in essence the document that comes out of a custody hearing. It's also known as a custody agreement. Let's talk a little bit about the custody process in California. The first step in the process is to file a request for custody orders, which schedules a court hearing. Other forms may also be required, so it's best to check in with the clerk at your local superior court to figure out which forms you'll need. These documents can be filed online or in person. If filing a person, take the original forms plus two copies to the clerk. Once the forms are filed, the court will assign a hearing date. The filing party must have the documents properly served on the other party at least 16 business days before the hearing begins. The papers can't be served by the party who filed them. A server must be a disinterested party and over the age of 18. This can be a friend or a professional process server. In order to prove the court documents were properly served, the filing party must file a proof of personal service form if served in person or a proof of service by mail form if served by mail. Proof of service forms must be filed with the court five business days before the hearing. California law requires parents to meet with a mediator in order to work out the details of a parenting plan. There is no cost for mediation. If parents agree during mediation, their plan can become the court's final order. If they disagree, the discussion that takes place during mediation will form the basis for the court's final order. Hearings are generally scheduled for one or two months after the request for an order is filed with the court. The court's judgment is final. Custody agreements and parenting plans can be modified after they're decided on. If the change to a custody agreement is minimal, for example, moving a pickup time by an hour or two, then parents don't have to get the court involved. However, larger changes will require for filing for another request for order form. Remember to hit the link below to start creating your own parenting plan. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos that make legal matters easier to understand and navigate.